So what I want to share is that sometimes when we are part of other people's processes, they don't owe us anything. Nobody owes you anything. You need to understand that God uses you to be there for a particular reason. And Hi guys, welcome to my channel. All right, so today my husband is joining me. Um, I love to feature my husband because, <laughs> um, you know, he does have a lot of wisdom when it comes to ministry and the word of God. It's important for me to just incorporate him. He is part of my life. He is my husband. And I hope that today you can learn something uh, um, about what I'm going to share. I'll actually share a story of what inspired this um, for me to share the scripture. Um, I did something with someone who runs a business. And through me doing that with them. Then what are you doing to your face? What did you do? Yeah, just wait. Just wait. I'm getting there. <laughs> So I was involved in a partnership, sort of, and it happened that through me being there, this particular person got lots of views for that, and then the business grew through me, or through the viewerships of that. But the business was already successful, the business was already doing great. What I'm saying is that through my association with her, that got a lot of traction. And I celebrate, and I'm so grateful for that, and wish her all the best. And here's the thing, right? And I want to share a different scenario. Okay, remember scenario one? Scenario two um, um, is... Okay, let me not share scenario two yet. Baby, do you want to share the scripture with us for today's reading? What scripture? Romans 12, 15. Romans 12, 15 to 17. Celebrate with those who are celebrating. Yes. Mourn, mourn with, those with those who are mourning. Who are mourning. Yes. It continues to say, come to the same mind come to the same mind with one another don't give yourself airs okay but associate with humility and with the humble don't get too clever for yourself well how what do you understand about that scripture honey celebrate with those who are celebrating you know i, I think we, we, we're living in a time where we for lack of a better word we become mini witches you know, um, <laughs> jealousy makes you a mini witch. You know, um, when somebody is celebrating their success, you know, uh, somebody buys a car and they post it on, 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 on Facebook or on Instagram, and your first thought is, how are they going to pay installment? Mm -hmm. you know, who do they think they are? Why are they posting it on social media? Who, they, who are they? You know? mm, who do they think they um, are? Your duty is to celebrate and say, yes. you know what, we praise God, we thank God for the blessing. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? And leave it at that. Yeah. How they pay their installment is up to them. Yeah. Do you understand? And, and I, think, I think that was very profound. And also what I want to share is that sometimes when we are part of other people's processes, they don't owe us anything. Nobody owes you anything. You need to understand that God uses you to be there for a particular reason. All right, so um, guys, my daughter joined us. Okay, so I'm going to continue with the point that I was talking about. Um, was that? Come, come to me. Shh, shh, shh. Quiet down, quiet down. Eh? Shh. Say hi, guys. Okay, keep quiet there. So sometimes God uses you um, in order to pursue that blessing. What I want to make clear is that just because you are in, 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 in the process and just because you are there um, when somebody else is getting blessed doesn't mean you are the person who's holding the blessing. You are part of the vehicle but you are not what's inside the vehicle. You are just a messenger or a carrier of the blessing. God needs to use people and therefore it is not you that people need to give the glory and the praise to. It is God that people need to give the glory and the praise to. And, and, and this is a thing that we constantly need to remind ourselves that we need to become a blessing to other people and we need to celebrate the success for me it's like god i know that my season of an open door is coming and everyone that is celebrating i need to celebrate them because i trust that what i have is good enough and the god that is in me and the plans that he has for me they are greater than what i could ever imagine so i need to believe that other people being blessed through me is actually a bigger blessing in fact them being blessed should be a blessing to you. I mean, does it not feel good when you've given someone else? Um, the, uh, uh, the even the Bible says, "Bless is the hand that gives and that that receives." Because giving feels so good. Giving feels so incredible. And that's exactly the same thing about blessing someone else. It should feel so good to bless someone else more than you actually being blessed. Word of God says you are blessed to be a blessing. Amen. So it's important for you to understand that 
even though you are not there yet you know you don't have to wait until you are you are loaded you don't have to wait until you are rich for you to be a blessing you can be a blessing with the little that you have amen the most important thing is celebrate others learn to celebrate others and don't be jealous of other people's successes we all have our different paths mm -hmm. you know maybe your path will take a little bit longer than other people's paths you know but maybe, maybe your blessing may take longer than other people's exactly. blessings you understand so you don't throw in the towel and 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 start hating on those who are succeeding you know and i know sometimes it's painful when you sit down and you look at your qualifications you look at your background you look at where you're supposed to be and you say you know what this person you know has got less qualifications than, than but me look but, where they but are. look where they are what yeah. about me mm -hmm. and you start hating them no celebrate them when and those say, who are celebrating my season will oh, come yes, i trust you lord that i will not end here mm -hmm. and this too shall pass you yes. know your season shall come we shall mm -hmm. celebrate you and, and, and the bible says be in the same mind that means sometimes don't you know be humble mm -hmm. Don't be too arrogant. Don't be too too important for other people. You know, we are all um, functions of one body. We all need each other. You know, we all need each other. We are all a blessing to each other. We all need each other. You know, the hands need the fingers. The fingers need the nails. Um, and, and the hand needs the body to, 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 to hold it and support it. The feet need the toes. The toes needs the ankle. You know what I mean? We all need each other. You are not too important for somebody else. We are all important beings created by our Lord. We have been created wonderfully and fearfully. God knew us before we were formed in our mother's womb. That means God has a plan for all of us. Hey, Stoney, what's wrong? <laughs> I think this little one wants to sleep. Let me take off this earring for her to relax this side. So the Lord is good, and all the okay, she's taking off the other earring. <laughs> All right, so that is what I wanted to share with you today. Um, let's celebrate. Celebrate your friends. Celebrate your neighbor. Celebrate anyone who's having something. And I know it's painful for someone to have something that you really want. I mean, can you imagine you wanting like a particular car and then someone else gets that car? You're thinking, but I wanted that car. It's normal and it's natural. But you know what? Your time and your season is coming. Yeah. Amen. Amen. I celebrate you and Yay! I love you. My CC! <laughs> Subscribe to my channel! Subscribe to Melissa Mashila's channel, please! She, she's an amazing vlogger and a YouTuber, so please do subscribe to her channel. That's the first time my sister's actually featured. No, it's not the first time, but I haven't featured her in a long time. So, I love you guys. Please subscribe. I'll see you next time. God bless and goodbye. Thank you, Pastor P. Sure. Don't you say bye? Bye. Say thank you for watching. Thank you. Whose earrings are those? Mine. Are they yours? Okay. You got earrings? Say hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Bye. Say bye. 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 Mm, thank you for um, being on my channel, okay? Sure.